Hello, my name is Kai Köhne. I'm an R&D manager uh, working for the Qt company and I'd like to give you a glimpse on Qt Lite and its tooling. So Qt Lite is an initiative by the Qt company to uh, make it possible to run Qt on even very low-end hardware. Uh, so we are coming from pretty powerful devices uh, with a lot of uh, RAM and a uh, uh, dedicated GPU to things like this, which is at the cost point of maybe $10. Um, no GPU and uh, not much memory. To get there, it's not enough to just link against some cute libraries and modules and take plugins out, but you also have to tweak the content of the libraries. And the most user visible part of Qt Lite is actually a configuration tool and system which allows you to tweak exactly what is in Qt that your application needs and wants. What I want to show you now is the Qt configuration tool which is part of Qt for device creation. It allows you to explore and change the myriad of different configure options that each uh, Qt li library provides. To use it, you first have to run configure once and then open the build directory inside the tool. I'm now opening the configuration just for the libraries in Qt Base. What we can see here is the different features that just the Qt Core library has and which we can check and uncheck. So for instance, for internationalization, so I can select whether I want to support a specific coder group. And depending on the selection, other features will be enabled or disabled too. Finally, I can save the configuration, go to the command line and start compiling Qt. So that was it. Thanks for watching.